Mormons, properly referred to as Latter-day Saints, members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, often talk about the Restoration. And while you may be familiar with the Reformation as a period of great change within Christianity, the Restoration is something else entirely. It refers to the full modern-day return of the ancient Church of Jesus Christ, the one that Jesus himself organized as described in the New Testament. This restored organization is called the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Soon after he called his twelve apostles, Jesus organized his church in order to bring salvation to all God's children. The new church would teach men and women about the nature of God, what was necessary for them to do in order to become more like him and return to him. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul explains that Jesus' church was built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. During his ministry, Jesus taught the apostles his gospel and gave them authority to teach truth and minister to the people. This is called priesthood. After his death and resurrection, Jesus directed his apostles to go ye therefore and teach all nations. The apostles, entrusted with the light of the Savior's gospel, taught the people and shared that light with them. Christianity, the belief in Christ and the light of the gospel, began to spread. But over time, the apostles were killed, and with that the priesthood and the light of the gospel were lost, and darkness crept in. That foundation of truth through his apostles and prophets was gone. Although the light of the Lord's faithful followers continued, without his apostles and prophets, God's official channel of revelation and authority through his spokesmen ended. When the gospel light dimmed, the result was confusion and a departure from many truths, something prophesied by the Apostle Paul. When talking about the second coming of Jesus Christ, Paul said, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. Latter-day Saints call this a period of apostasy. The divine return of the Church of Jesus Christ with its foundation of apostles and prophets, gospel light and knowledge, and priesthood authority is what Latter-day Saints refer to as the Restoration. The Apostle Peter foretold the Restoration when he declared there would be a time of restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets. Latter-day Saints believe that to prepare for this restitution, or restoration, of all things, God inspired many of His children during what came to be known as the Reformation. Martin Luther, John Calvin, William Tyndale, and others earnestly sought to return to the basics of the gospel as written in the Bible. Reception of the light of the gospel began again, growing in a time and a place where religious freedom was encouraged. The conditions were ripe for a full and complete restoration of Christ's church. In 1820, during a time of religious fervor in the new American nation, a young farm boy named Joseph Smith knelt in prayer in the woods near his home to inquire where to find truth and light and to ask God which church he should join. His prayer was answered with a heavenly visitation from God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ, who told him to join none of them, but that the light of the gospel and the church of Jesus Christ would be restored to the earth through him. Over the next ten years he continued to receive light, knowledge, and revelation. With direction from God and the priesthood authority he received, on April 6, 1830, Joseph Smith and five other men formally organized the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, beginning the fulfillment of Peter's prophecy of the restitution of all things. So what was restored? Everything found in Christ's original church, truth, revelation, and the pure doctrine of Christ. Ordinances were restored, like baptism by immersion and conferring the gift of the Holy Ghost, and priesthood authority from God. And it is a full restoration of the same foundation of apostles and prophets, who even today follow the Lord's charge to teach all nations. Members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints believe God restored His church for a very simple reason. He loves all of His children and wants them to have joy in this life and return to live with Him. Through His living prophets and the truths in His restored church, God shows the way. The Restoration what it is, why it was needed, and how it was accomplished. Now you know.